Starbucks, the world's largest coffee house chain, opened its first farmer support center in Asia and sixth globally in Puar in southwestern China's Yunnan province in a bid to help improve the quality of local coffee beans and make Puar a stable sourcing region. The opening of the Starbucks China Farmer Support Center is being called a milestone in Starbucks' continued investments in China. John Culver, CEO of Starbucks China, said that Yunnan would continue to play an important role in the company's long-term supply of premium Arabica coffee as it continues to expand its store base in China with goals of reaching 1,500 outlets in 2015. The Seattle-based company has been purchasing locally produced coffee beans for a few years and launched its first blend with beans from Yunnan in 2009. Culver said the company's purchasing volume from Yunnan has been growing and the company brought four coffee varieties to Puar three years ago and plans to expand from test planting to large-scale planting by 2014. Culver said he hoped to see these beans sell in China and globally with the Yunnan coffee label. Coffee planting in Yunnan dates back over a century when French missionaries brought the first plants to this region. Currently, the planting area of coffee in Puar is around 40,000 hectares, yielding 36,500 tons of beans annually, which accounts for half of China's total growing area and output. Lu Han, director of Puar Coffee Industry Federation, said the city's exports of coffee beans in 2011 and 2012 totaled 24,700 tons, worth $100 million. Lu said as more people overseas begin to appreciate Yunnan coffee, he also wants to promote it inside China and feels that cooperation with Starbucks would help. A total of 50,000 tons of Yunnan coffee beans were sold overseas in 2011. Although this only accounted for about 0.7 percent of the global total, the figure is a record high for the province's coffee exports.